what happened was last time I played this, I will read this first. Once upon a time, there lived an odd little witch in an odd little house. She spent most of her days tending to her odd little garden and resting in her odd little chair. On this day, however, her sleep was interrupted by an odd little noise. Bah! Alright, let's wake up. Alright. So what happened was, the last time I played this, my old computer just, like, couldn't handle it. It kept crashing. I think anybody who joined me then- Hey, SS Penetration! Hi! I'm explaining why we're restarting Witchwood. Um, my old computer just couldn't handle it, so we're restarting it. We're getting into our spooktacular September and October, and so we're restarting. We're gonna start all brand new, Witchwood, and we have a whole lineup of excellent games this month. Or the next two months. So, let's get into it. You devil! How dare you wake a young lady from her beauty sleep? Now. Nah. Shoo, shoo, get out of my house, you mindless beast. You're making a mess. With a swift kick in the rump, you boot the goat through the front door. There. Peace at last. When did this place get so cluttered? I could have sworn I swept the hearth just yesterday. First things first, my old grimoire must be around here somewhere. New chapter. First things first. Let's find it. Let's find the grimoire, shall we? I'm getting used to where my new... I have a new computer. You know, long story short. a new computer. Have a webcam. Getting used to where it is. So I keep looking to where my old webcam was. And it's not there. <laughs> so I will be looking in the wrong spot for a little while. But I will get used to it eventually. Alright. Here's the grimoire. Aha! Here it is. Hmm. It's lighter than I recall. Your grimoire contains all of your craftable recipes. You can open it at any time by pressing H. All right. Let's press H. Let's check it out. All right. We've got a mending poultice, a speckled herbal paste that heals aches and pains, heals depleted hearts. So if we ever lose any hearts, we can turn to the mending poultice. Inventory. We got none. Map. Limited. Journal. So we have to find the braided belt in the chest. Okay, let's go. All my recipes are missing. That darn creature has chewed up all the pages of my book. Where's my belt? I'll need it to carry my things if I'm going to confront the beast. I must have left it in that trunk over there. All right, let's go. Let's check out the trunk. All right, what do we got in here? We got a braided belt, of course. We have some imp eye nut. Some rope and a seeker vine. All right, what's in there? Okay, exit. Okay, thank you. Oh, my poor back. How long was I napping for? A good dose of medicine ought to soothe these aching bones before I head out. At least I still have the recipe for my mending poultice. All right, so we have to make a mending poultice. So what we have to do is go here, get some of these. So let's look. What's it, H? So we need some mushrooms and some green things. Let's find the green thing, which is here. All right. Mending poultice seems to be this area. Mushroom, give me that mushroom. Is there nothing else? Okay. It's craft. Oh, we gotta hold it, okay. Okay, we've got the heel. Heal us up. All right. Go outside. All right, so our main objective is to go, go outside and we have our list of our completed objectives. Let's go to the outside, let's go. Overgrown yard, you step outside into a human marsh and immediately stub your toe on a twisted root. Ouch! Close your eyes for a wink, and the next thing you know, the whole yard's gone to the weeds. Somewhere in the distance, you can hear braying through the dense bramble. Where'd that cross-eyed Billy get to? How could at least- he could at least put those gnashers to good use on this lawn. Open your map tab to get a better look at your surroundings. Alright, let's go. 
let's go. How do we look at, okay. This is our map so far, so. Yeah, right? Been there, girl. Yep. Who hasn't stubbed their toe, right? <laughs> we used to have around my pool growing up. We had this pool. It was like the most ghetto in ground pool, but we had the most, like, very uneven cinder block almost type things. I forget what they were. Like, they were not just, like, paving stones. I don't know what they were. And they were always uneven. You would stub your toe so bad on them. All right, let's look around here. What are we going to put baby Moses in this basket? What do we need? We need cutters for that. Okay. Let's find this. Th Ooh, here we go. Give me that. Bah! Is that all you've got to say for yourself? Bah! <laughs> the goat coughs up a disgusting hairball. Ah, yes. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me now? Apologies, it's been so long since I've used a mortal vessel. Yuck, there's dirt in its mouth. Pleh, pleh. You can talk. Of course I can talk. Has your mind become so filled with cobwebs that you've forgotten your old friend? You wound me, madam. It's good to see you up and about. I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever awaken. Though I suppose time flows strangely in this place. Anyway, I've come to collect. Do you have the amount we agreed upon? Amount? Amount of what? Oh dear. If you really don't remember, we should go over the contract details again. Down there. The goat nods its head toward the ancient stone gateway looming nearby. And just how am I supposed to get through that solid rock? You're the one who sealed it last. Take a closer look and I'm sure it will come back to you. Open your witch's eye to inspect objects and creatures and discover their weaknesses. All right, so which is I is G. Let's do it. I'll help you out, Tristan. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go up here. We got G. All right, stone pillar. An unusually large standing stone wrapped in enchant with enchanted gravings. So I need an unveiling power. All right. Don't underestimate your senses, my dear. You may be old, but you can see things others cannot. Hidden weaknesses lying below the surface. Ah, I can see it now. There are shallow runes etched onto the surface of the stone, but they are too faint for me to read. A powder, unfailing, all to do the trick. If you hadn't made a snack of my book, I wouldn't have to retranscribe my recipes. I shall not be held liable for any losses or inconveniences incurred as the result of an abyssal possession. By inspecting objects and creatures, you can learn new recipes to craft in your grimoire. All right. So, what do we need? We need a mushroom, which we have two of. We need a green thingy, which we have one of. And we have two eyeballs, or whatever these are. Oh, cool. It tells you where they're located. All right, so we need another seeker vine. Do we see a seeker vine anywhere? We need to get it in the swamp. The swamp has the seeker vines and not else. Here we go. What's this? What's this? I want this. How do we open it? I don't know. All right. All right, we did the, we have the thing of unveiling. Okay. Kablam! Yes. Shrine entrance. You smear a handful of the glowing powder onto the runes of the doorway. A cool blue light emanates from the glyphs and, and, and envelops the entrance in its aura. You squint. Attempting to discern the meaning of the letters. They appear to be in some obscure runic alphabet. What gibberish is this? It looks like it was carved by a frightened hen. Hmm. It must be written in the umbral tongue. Allow me to translate. The goat steps up to the doorway and pauses. Hmm. Well? What does it say? The goat swings its shaggy head towards you. 
Dark, matted wool obscures the creature's beady eyes. I... I cannot see. Unbelievable! What help are you, then? I didn't come here to help. I came to collect. Now do something about this mop of hair, would you? <laughs> fine, fine. I think I have some rusty old shears down in the garden. Alright, let's go get some shears so we can cut this dude's hair. Where art thou, shears? They're in the garden. What does that mean? I guess they're in this... This thing. This box. Yeah. Alright, we got some shears and we've got some reedy twine. Let's cut this crap. Snip that. Snip that out on the floor. Snip that. So I'm sensing a budding romance between this lass and the goat. But when he's not a goat, because that would be weird. All right, let's shear him. With much protesting and ached ear, you shear away clumps of dirty hair from the goat's eyes. Ah, much better. Oh my, were you always this grotesque, or is my memory failing me as well? Watch your tongue, or I'll give it a good snip too. Now, can you read the runes or not? Hmm, yes. Uh, a space beneath, she sleeps alone. Tokens given up to the unknown. Fires of four shall unroot the stone. Braziers burn and await the crone. Crone? Who's it calling crone? And what are these tokens I'm to burn? Perhaps you ought to take a closer look at those braziers. Alright, let's look. What are we looking? What? Did I press the wrong button? Oh, I had to press G, right? Okay, so this one. We need a blue feather. This one, we need a dog hair. Frog slime. And a shiny stone. Okay. Dog hair, bird feather, frog slime, and a shiny stone. I don't suppose you swallowed up any of those things while I was asleep. I don't think so, but feel free to sift through this creature's leavings if you want to be completely sure. However... There's a whole world outside this little swamp, you know? See that gateway over there? The one with the lovely green flame? The goat motions to the far side of your yard. I guess a brisk walk in the woods won't do these creaky joints. We'll do some cre these creaky joints some good. Too much time spent indoors is bad for the humors. Alright, let's go. Let's get in there. Dun 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 dun. Da 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 We need shears. Snip that crap. Let's go. Snipping and tearing your shears make short work of the bramble. Let's go. Let's get in there. How we get in there? Click it. Click it. Maybe I should move me up here. Let's try up here. You cut away, you cut your way through the remaining vines and suddenly step onto a cold stone dais. Time seems to flow backwards, or maybe it seems it speeds forward? An oppressive, star-filled void stretches as far as you can see. Though there is no wind or sound in this void, a warm breeze, a warm fall breeze and the chirping of birds seizes your attention. A doorway. <gasps> okay, so we have a series of doorways we can take. We've got mystery ones all right so we are on the path we are on we have a, a mission to gather one blue feather one dog hair one frog slime and one shiny stone let's do this we only have one oh what's this give me that please it's a hearth seed we learned a recipe when thrown sharply against the ground hey toxoplasmic how are you doing welcome 
I got my new setup today. So I'm, oh, I just ripped a earbud out of my ears. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm getting used to looking at the new location for the, uh, webcam, but yeah, we're getting there. We are playing Witchwood tonight. Tonight starts our two months, at least two months, we'll see. I have a whole list of spooky, fall-themed, Halloween-themed games for us to enjoy together, and so we're hit, we're starting it off with Witchwood. We're, we're, we're easing in. All right, a hearth seed. When thrown sharply against the ground, the sheet will spirit you back to cozy comfort. I guess it takes us back home, is my guess. All right. But yeah, I'm excited about Witchwood. I am ready. Let's go. Let's go to the forest. Let's do this. Okay. What's this? Give me that. We're gonna gather supplies, right? That's always the first step. Gather all them supplies. What's that, stick? Give me that, give me that stick. Give me this green thing. We got friend, oh, hello friend. Hello sir, who are you? Bird watcher. The woman spins around on her heels so quickly, she nearly hits you with her spyglass. Ah, oh, you startled me. Can't you see I'm busy with my scientific research? Research? What is it you're looking for with that contraption? Why, the famed indigo tufted forest lark? They're said to be native to this forest and this forest only. Have you seen one, perchance? You glance upwards at the small blue bird perched atop the oblivious woman's hair. Hat. And hair. I have it. Sorry. A shame. Well... It's never too late to open one's eyes to the wonders of the natural world. You never know what you'll discover. She points at a nearby woodland critter, stuffing its cheeks with seeds. Take that squirrel, for example. Spend a few moments watching its behavior, and you'll learn everything you need to know about it. Observation is key. Now, if you don't mind, I wouldn't want to miss making an exciting new discovery. The bluebird glances vacantly at you before pooping on the brim of the woman's hat. All right, lady, is this the source of my blue feather? All right, okay, we gotta watch the birds. Okay, what's this, what's this one? A skittish songbird, songbird, enjoys eating seeds, so we need to make a snap trap. Okay, this is fine, it's all fine, what's this? A hatchet. How do we make a hatchet? What is this? Wicker work, a widget, woven. A good frame to start building around. What does that mean? What is this? I feel like I'm, I'm like Jack, the Pumpkin King. What's this? What's this? Blah, 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 blah. I don't know what the next ro next line is. All right, we need to make a wicker work. Let's do it. We gotta hold it. Okay. Now we can build a snap trap. Get that snap trap. Let's go. Okay, so we gotta build. Who are you, sir? What? What are you? All right, let's build a snap trap. Craft. Set that trap. Bam. Get down here. Hello, sir. What are you doing? Oh. Crap. Crap, I caught the... I caught the stupid squirrel. I got some meat. All right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, loser. Build one of these. Ah, oh, I'm missing the eyeball plant. Okay, let's go in search of eyeball plants. Oh, dear lord. You ruined everything, squirrel. I need the, oh, hello. Oh, hello, inbred boy. Ragamuffin. Oi, lady, what's with that great stinking pot on your head? I would ask the same thing about all you stinking frogs in your trousers. Aw, you're just jealous. The boy fumbles between trying to wrangle all his frogs and swiping ineffectually at wayward fireflies and a shoddy looking bug nip. With a shoddy looking bug nip. Juggling a little more than you can handle, eh? What exactly are you hoping to accomplish, flailing about like that? Are you daft? 
frogs are hungry, so I gotta catch some of these fireflies to feed them. This are oh my gosh, I'm getting flashbacks. I'm getting flashbacks to friggin' Kuno in Disco Elysium, where he's like, I'm gonna punch you! And then he punches me, and I die from a heart attack. He rakes, he takes another wild swing, missing his target entirely. Why don't you let me take a few of those frogs off your hands for a moment? That would let you swing that net properly. Oh, I see how it is. You have to meet precious prizes. Well, how about I give you the net and you catch me some fireflies? Then maybe I'll think about trading you one of my froggies. All right, let's take this net. Let's do it. Can I catch a bird with this net? All right, what am I doing? Catching a firefly with this? I got oh, We got this. Look at me. I'm a firefly master. Kablam. Take that firefly. Get get one of these fireflies. Get over here, fairy. Got you. <laughs> I captured a fairy. <laughs> what is this? Get a mushroom. I just took that fairy out. I was like, you're mine now, lady. You got no more freedoms. All right. What's up here? We got we got anything else to collect? Okay, we're just trading now. Well, these hoppers aren't gonna stick around with them empty bellies. The faster you catch those fireflies, the faster we can eat. Uh, I mean the frogs can eat. I got you. I got you for some fireflies. The boy shakes a jar, rattling the captured insects like pennies in a piggy bank. Well, these are nice and juicy. The lads are gonna feast tonight. Now about our deal, you agreed to trade me one of your pets there. Ha <laughs> ha, what deal? I don't remember making no deal. A frog squirms out of the boy's overalls and plops down by his feet with a wet slap. Dang it, there goes Slippery Pete. He takes his clumsy swipe at the amphibian, but the creature squeezes out of his grasp and bounces into the underbrush. Aw oh, shucks, I never liked him anyways. You, if you can catch him, he's all yours. All right, let's catch him. Get, get over here. There we go, we got him. Take that, what do you want? Okay, goodbye. What do we need this frog for? What do we... I still need this eyeball plant. Okay. Oh, there's one. Give me that. Give me that eyeball plant. Oh, here we go, okay. Ready? <gasps> What button do I press? This one. Okay. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna set the trap. There we go. No, get out of there, squirrel! Get it! Get get out of here, squirrel! Yes. Get out of the way, squirrel! I don't have time for you. Give me that bird meat. What's this? Hatchet. Get, get, give me this. All right, we got another eyeball thingy. So I have, um, all right, I got frog slime and blue feather. So I need dog hair and a shiny stone. I need a hatchet. Oh, here's a hatchet guy. Give me this. Give me this thing. Let's just wander around collecting crap for a second. Give me this. Okay. Let's go back here. Hello, sir. Hello. Sir, can we make a deal? Can, we, can I have your hatchet, sir? Hi, you there. Give me a hand, would you? With what? You seem to have everything under control. These stumps aren't going anywhere. My darn useless son was supposed to help me, but he's wandered off again. Probably to go bother frogs and eat bugs or some such nonsense. Anyway, I need help clearing away some of these dead logs. It's late in the season and the wood has started to rot. Just be careful of the purple mushrooms that sometimes grow inside. They'll make you powerful sleepy if you breathe in the s'mores. The s'mores. The spores. As much as I do love poisonous fungi, I'm not much of a lumberjack. Nonsense. Anyone can experience the joys of splitting a fine stump. Here, my boy won't be missing his hatchet. Oh, I'm inhaling those s'mores. 
All right, take that hatchet. All right, let's hack this crap. What's this? What's this thing? I could dig out some coals with the right tool. What right tool? I don't have to. Do this look like purple spores? Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, there's purple. 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 Let's go. Let's do this. Complain. Hack that crap. Purple, purple. Give me all those purple mushrooms. Bam. Bam. Come on. Complain. Give me the screen thing. Come on. Give me it. I need all this stuff. I need it all. I'm a hoarder. I want it all. Can I use this? Can I catch this guy? Can I, ca can I catch you? Can no. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. I don't need you after all. But I can catch this fairy. Kablam! Kablam. Give me, give me these fireflies. All right, we gotta remember, the forest has the fireflies, and these mushrooms, and the frog guy. Give me oh, oh, okay. That one fought back, all right. All right, we got the bird lady, she's oblivious. Oh, we got sticks, okay. We got birds. Oh, here we go. Hack this thing. I need my hatchet. Kablam. Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Give me that. Squirrels are like, no way, Jose. What am I looking for? A dog something. Alright, here's... Oh, there's a dog hair. All right, let's talk to this guy. Kilnman. Evening, ma'am. Come to check on the pottery. I'm afraid I just fired the kilns up, so they'll be a while still. Pottery? Bah. I was just admiring that fine canine over there. You point to a scraggly-looking mutt patrolling the yard. May I give her a petting? Oh, you can try, but I wouldn't if you value your fingers. She was a tough bite today and doesn't much like people going near the ovens. I have a way with animals. Surely I can find something to calm her down. Alright. What does she like? She likes soporific morsel and shears. Alright. Okay. Let's uh, make a morsel. What's this? Soporific potion. No. This. What's it? Oh, we need a potion. What's this? What's this thing? Force spill. This draw. Jar of water. Jar of water. Can I just shear this thing? I am. Oh, crap! Vicious. Vicious creature. Alright, we'll be back. We will be back. Trust me. Sir, what are you doing? Did you drop your your lady down a well? I feel you, sir. I feel you. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. I don't know about this. You tap the man's shoulder, and he nearly tumbles headfirst into the well. Huh. Well, what's the matter with you? I could have fallen in. Then perhaps you shouldn't be leaning over the edge like some wobbly stork. So what's so interesting down this well, anyways? Well, my grandpappy used to tell me that people dropped all sorts of treasure down there. Just waiting for someone to dig it up. Got myself a trout. Thought I'd give it a go. But the rope's out and it looks awful dark and damp. I get goosebumps just thinking about all the ghoulies that might be lurking down there in the shadows. Ever consider that those ghoulies might get goosebumps thinking about you lurking up in there in the sunlight? Uh, no. Not really. Not sure if that makes me feel any better about them, actually. Maybe the business of treasure hunting isn't for me after all. Here, why don't you take my trial? I don't think I'll be needing it. You can go down into the well and see those goodies yourself. Alright, we got a trial. Let's take it. So the well is deep and dark. You might be able to climb down into it, but the rope has long since rotted away. Oh, we got this. 
You toss a length of strong homemade rope down into the darkness. It seems like it should support you without much fuss. Let's get, let's get in there. Get in there, girl. Get in there.